All right, everybody, I'm out in the garage here this morning, and boy, I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful day outside. The sun is shining, and man, it looks good out there. Uh, before we get started here, uh, I've got a shop card that came in, and I want to I want to give a shout-out to Larry over at Larry's Model Shop. Check this card out. <laughs> i tell you what, uh, my wife really likes the Mustangs, and uh, uh, she wanted a 65 or 66 uh, coupe instead of the Fastback, but I always like the Fastbacks, but we parked behind one the other night when we went to a restaurant, and uh, she said uh, that's about as close as she'll ever get to one. So uh, I don't know. But uh, Larry, if you look down here, that, that's, that's what, what uh, Larry's uh, channel used to be named, the Automotive Modelers Guild. But uh, he changed that to Larry's Model Shop because he said uh, it was easier to remember and say. So uh, he changed that up. He's got all the AMT, Ravel, and Monogram. He's got uh, three of the top three. Pretty much covered on his card there. That's pretty cool. And Larry, I tell you what, I appreciate the kind words on the back. And thank you for your service. Uh, I am also an Air Force veteran, as you are, man. And uh, cool. That's really cool. I love the card, man. Thanks for it. All right, let's dig into this. Uh, you all know, I took this AMT Hot Wheels monster truck. You know, I bought that some time back. I don't know why I bought it. Bought it. I was at the hobby shop and... Uh, uh, it was something new that came out and I saw it and it kind of struck my fancy at the time <laughs> and I went ahead and bought it and uh, Never really did anything with it and I tried to trade it and I, I couldn't Couldn't come up with a decent trade. So I got to looking at it and And I thought you know what? I've got this uh, 66 Chevy. I originally had a 60 Chevy and uh, That kind of went by the wayside something happened with that one. We that's another story, but uh, I had this 66 so I thought I'd Combine the two because I like the older stuff. I don't I don't care for that body style of the truck. That's too new for me. So I thought, man, that'd look cool for that '66 body to be up there on that. So uh, I kind of got after it and and uh, and got her done. But uh, well, I tell you what, there was more mods on this thing than I've ever done on any kit. And man, I tell you what, it it uh, at times it uh, te was testing my patience. I'm telling you. But uh, <clears throat> let me. Uh, let me move these boxes out of the way and get the uh, get the finished product moved over here, and we'll take a peek and see what she looks like, boys. Hang on just a minute. All right, fellas, there she is. <clears throat> Boy, I tell you what, this was a this was a chore for me. There was more modifications on this, uh, especially on that tube chassis, <laughs> than I had ever done. And boy, I tell you what, at times uh, it tried my patience. But if you take a look at here, that top tube on this whole frame from front to back, uh, everything above that was cut off. Uh, and that included the uh, shock mounts and things for the uh, rear shocks. I had to make new shock mounts. Everything from the center line back, because that's where I cut the three quarters of an inch out. Uh, the trailing arms and things, uh, they all had to be uh, uh, cut and resized to fit in there. So that was a uh, time consuming and uh, uh, a little bit of a chore. And I, I added some extra bracing up on top in the bed back there. But uh, I painted the frame with this to me is TS-56 Brilliant Orange. That's what the frame is painted with. And then the body itself is painted with the, uh, this is the acrylic paint. This is the, to me is uh, X-10 gunmetal. That's what the body's painted with. And I think it came out pretty pretty good. I, I, I really like it. Um, before I polished it out, now there's no clear on this whatsoever. So all I did after I painted it, um, I polished it uh, well I, I put some cutting compound I went over it with that and then I polished it with uh, uh, some uh, liquid polish and uh, all of its uh, Meguiar's products and it it kind of took that silvery look away and gave it more of that gunmetal look uh, I wish it had come out a little bit darker but uh, I think it turned out pretty good now <clears throat> the body is all glued together it's all one piece because uh, i was having trouble trying to uh make uh mounts and everything up on top of that tube chassis to fit everything and make it uh all straight so the, what i come up with i added some shims between the cab and the bed uh and glued and glued those in place and then uh, glued the whole body uh together as one unit and come out pretty good now <coughs> excuse me uh I'll pop the hood off here in a minute, but uh, let's take a trip around this thing. I don't know where, 
I found those decals in my uh, parts box. I'm not sure where those come from, what kit those come out of, but uh, I just, as soon as I saw those, I knew that's the ones I was going to use. And I, off that same sheet, I took the STP stickers and the, uh, the uh, hooker headers, and then uh, up on top, up here on the hood, you can see I've got some, uh, put my hand behind that. I got some decals that I put on there. <clears throat> I'll put that hood back on for the time being. <clears throat> that hood fits pretty good. That's a uh, four piece hood. You got to put it all together. Uh, it, it turned out pretty good. There was a lot of sanding to do on that because it didn't want to fit very good from side to side. So, uh, and then fit flat down on the on the top of the uh, uh, body up there. So a lot of sanding went on up there, but it turned out pretty good. Uh, the kit for the 66 actually gives you decals for back here. They give you white or black, but I didn't use any of those. Uh, that's, a, 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 to me, a black wash that I put in there. Uh, I thought that would look a lot better, and it turned out really good. And then I put some decals uh, down here on the differential front and back. Those are the Isky Cam decals. This old boy's running Isky Cams in this old big old Hemi. There's some massive tires and wheels, aren't they? Man. <clears throat> the, uh, the engine that's in this is, I'm calling it a 565 cubic inch Hemi. It's a blown, supercharged Hemi engine. Uh, it comes from uh, Iceman Collections. I bought it off, uh, off of, uh, offline there. And, and uh, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool kit, uh, that engine. That thing, is, that thing was pretty sweet. And I will get, we'll, I'll show you that here in a little bit. I'll take the camera off the uh, tripod here and, I, and we'll take a little bit better look inside. But uh, all in all, I think this thing came out pretty good. I really, when I decided I was going to paint those butterflies up there, red and it just automatically went wink i had I had to put red lights in there and uh i don't remember those come from the parts box too i don't remember what they come from but uh i just thought that was uh fitting for the front to, to match the the butterflies up there i thought that looked pretty cool all right guys give me a minute here uh i'm gonna take the camera off the tripod we're gonna take a, a look uh in the engine area and, and in the cab hang on all right, fellas, let's go up here and take a look inside the business in here now. Like I said, that's that Iceman. Uh, you know, when you buy these engines from Iceman, it, well, on mine anyway, the bag, it shows you a picture of a Hemi, a blown supercharged Hemi engine, but it doesn't tell you the cubic inch. So uh, I kind of looked online and, and uh, I thought maybe a 565 would be fitting for this. Uh, I did wire the engine and... I wired the MSD box up there on the firewall, and I wired the uh, battery as well. And that engine is just pretty cool. Uh, I decided to go with the black valve covers and the, and the, the black uh, blower hood up there with the red butterflies. I thought that was just really cool. <clears throat> and if we can look inside here, uh, I really totally modified the inside here. I pulled that bench seat out, and I put in that one racing seat in the middle so that driver could uh, get a lot better view when he's jumping over those cars and things. Kind of hard to see inside there, but, uh, uh, and I also used the uh, the uh, gauge cluster off the uh, Hot Wheels Monster Truck. I mounted that up onto the dash. I'm gonna try and get a better shot in here so you guys can see this. I don't know if, it, if it's gonna work or not, but uh, see what we can do here. No, it's just not going to let me do anything, get a better picture. But anyway, you can kind of see it. Uh, it turned out pretty good, though. I liked it. Let me back back out here. So, fellas, all in all, I think it came out really sweet. Uh, I'm digging it. <clears throat> First monster truck I ever built. I don't... I'm not going to say I'll never build another one, because it never is a long time. But uh, this is what just kind of something different for me not my normal thing and uh, i had it was going to do something with it just didn't want to build the regular monster truck that came you know the body that came with it wanted something different like the old stuff so that's the 66 chevy body up there and i think it turned out pretty cool 
give it a little bit shorter wheelbase and uh and that big ass honking engine up there that hemi engine boy that just <clears throat> that just kind of made it for me i think that turned out really sweet all right guys uh like always uh you guys take a look at it you tell me what you think and uh i think that's about all i got on this one i'm done